Hey guys, welcome to today's BB Can 6 chat. Whoa, it's episode 6. It is. Wow, that, that's <laughs> going quickly. Last time Andrew was evicted. And didn't say goodbye to anybody. That was weird. And then they started the HOH competition. Did you notice though he did high five uh, Ryan? That's on great. The, way out. the guy that put you up on the block. <laughs> It's weird how that works so out, isn't it? Up. Yep. <laughs> so the HOH was in progress, or should I say progress. Mm -hmm. Erica has safety for the week because they were competing in pairs and she was not selected. It was like on Survivor. She when got lucky. that odd person out, you either get to join in the feast or you go to Ghost Island. <laughs> ah, well, she gets to join in the feast. Yeah. All right. So we misunderstood this uh, the night that it happened. We thought that you had to move one piece of each type of fruit. I thought it was like eight fruit total. Yeah, it was like <laughs> 40 or 48. It was a lot, yeah. It was a lot of fruit. It was a lot. And they were in these crates because it was uh, the Big Brother like zoo. wild animal zoo or whatever. Yeah, they were the animals. And those crates didn't drive very well. <sighs> they were Fred Flintstone, Flintstone crates. Yeah. <laughs> There was lots of bumper car action. So the pairs were Paris and Marin, Derek and Kayla. Mm -hmm. Isn't it weird how um, there's all these like random things and Derek and Kayla always get put together? Well, I wouldn't say they always get put together. Well, a lot of times. This one was random. You can watch the actual drawing. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the global website. Veronica and Hamza mm -hmm. and Maddie and Olivia, Will and Johnny and Allie and Jesse. What a crew. Veronica was really booking around. Okay, so remember um, before when Allie was like, I'm really scared about Veronica because I think she's going to be a comp beast. She's going to be a comp beast. <laughs> At least in the physical ones. I don't know yet about the mental ones, but definitely the physical ones. Does she have like ADHD or something? I'm Why? thinking... Because, like, when she first came into the house, she could not sit still. She was just like... Ah. I think she just has a lot of energy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Maddie and Olivia, they know that they're not going to win. They're pretty far behind everybody else, so they don't want Hamza and um, Veronica to win. Well, I think Maddie's okay with it because she's cool with them, but... Olivia definitely doesn't because she knows, ooh, she's got like this rivalry going with Maddie. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. She's with her. What with, am I saying? With Veronica. She is not good friends with Veronica and she doesn't have a great relationship with Hamza either. Right. This edit was really interesting though because from what I heard, Maddie was playing it off like, oh, Olivia told me that we should block Hamza and Veronica. But when they showed it on the show, Maddie was like, all right, let's block some people. Who are we going to block? Whoa. Just saying. All right. Well, it really, it came down to Kayla and Derek and Hamza and Veronica. So they right. ended up trying to block. The two rugby girls were really uh, repelling yeah. those teams. They, they tried to block Hamza and Veronica, but they were not successful. Yeah. So they won and then they had to decide between the two of them who was going to be the HOH. So Veronica was just like, you know what? You can have it, Hamza. I know you want to see your fiance because he's shouting out to her every five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, I don't think she wanted the blood on her hands. Well, and she'll get to play again next week. So that's huge right. for her. And she knows that she'll be safe with Hamza. Right. So... Hamza wants to shake up the house. That's at least what he said before he won the HOH. Well, last week he was saying, like, I really want to make a big move. I would put up, like, the showman, split them up. It would be really exciting. Yeah. But now, who knows? Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about Paris for a second. She is working all sides of the house. She, I gotta hand it to her. She's she really, really was. doing well. Now I'm getting a little nervous for her because of stuff, but I will leave that there for okay. now. <laughs> but, you know, she's she's got her real deal crew, Kayla, Derek, Jesse. She's got the showman's going with Jesse, but then she's also in with the white room people. She seems to she's be all over pretty that, well with All over that house. Too. Yeah, well, he's in the white room crew. Oh, okay. All right, so Hamza got his HOH room. 
He cried like a baby over his video from his Remember fiance. when he's all like, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He is such a pushover. Whoa! I don't know if I'd call him a pushover. I don't think there's anything wrong with being emotional, but... No, I don't mean about that. I mean about other stuff. All we right. didn't get there yet, he though. He got a nice little squishy soccer ball. His Hasbro game was hearing things. Fun! Did they play it yet? <laughs> Not on the show. Okay. That's probably tomorrow. Alright, so... Tomorrow. That's probably Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Well, then I don't it was even know time. What day it is anymore? Then it was time for the strategy talks. So he's talking to Marin about the nominations, and Marin is really confused because he's like, "Why aren't you putting up the showman? I thought you were gonna go after them. You know, why are they not the target?" Yeah. And Hams is like, "Well, you know, I want to do my own thing. Olivia is a really big threat." She's a marathon runner. She's smart. She's sneaky. We hear that she's in throwing competitions. Would you say she's a sneaky or a big bad? According to them. I don't know why they all feel so threatened by her. Yeah. Do you think they should be or no? Because I think no. no I, th I kind of think they should be. She's. I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, well, in any case, Hamza thinks that she's got to go. Alright. All right, now it's time for a fun have-not competition. Yay! You know what? As kind of lame as this was... <laughs> I was excited about it. I want them to bring back food competitions every once no, in a while. No, I'm saying it's better than just having... It's way more whoever, fun yeah. than the HOH just being right. like, you, you haven't been it yet, you do it. <laughs> All right, so this was basically a newlyweds type... Um, competition. Yeah, not everybody competed. Hamza got to pick four couples to compete in this. I don't know why he picked the people he picked. Why? Well, why Erica and Marin? Well, because he ran out of actual like couples and show yeah. dances. So he picked Erica and Marin, Paris and Jesse, Veronica and Will, and Kayla and Derek. And like you said, it was basically like the newlywed game. Right. You, you were asked a question, you had to write down your answer, and then your partner was asked how you would answer right. and they had a, you had a match. Okay, so the bottom two teams were going to be the have-nots for the week. Oh. <laughs> so... Hamza did not realize at the time also that, like, there was a chance that they were going to be have-nots. I'm pretty sure because I don't oh, think really? he would have picked people who were have-nots last week. Right. Because that's pretty... It's sucky. Yeah, they should have told him that. <laughs> well, he didn't know. <sighs> All right, so some of the questions were, you know, what would you do for a date outside the house? What emoji uh, do you feel that, you know, represents you? What's your best feature, like your anus? Or, Ew! Yeah. Um, uh, nobody answered that. They said ass. But they did not say anus. anus. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a little bit of a difference there. Not much. Yeah, there is. All right, Will was getting really pissy. And, and like, very angry. He does not want to be on slop. He was in hell week one. He doesn't want to do it again. Yeah. Then one of the questions was, um, would you be willing to be handcuffed to your partner? <laughs> mm, sure. <laughs> if you said yes, you had to be handcuffed to them for 24 hours. So. Well, everybody said yes to that one, except for Dela, because they were already a limited... Eliminated from the competition at that point. Which Do you is, think they would have said yes? Yeah, which is funny because they're like an actual showman's. Right. And they were the first ones out. Yeah, that's not built for time. Okay. <laughs> all right, all time. All right. Well, in the end, we find out that the have-nots this week are Kayla and Derek and Erica and Marin. Yo, that's I two weeks in a row for Derek and Erica. Yeah. That sucks. And everybody except Dela is handcuffed with these pink furry sex handcuffs. <laughs> these aren't like the real handcuffs. These are like the ones that you get from like the sex store. Well, because they wanted them to be able to unhook them to go to the bathroom and stuff. I know, but these with the fur on them. I mean, that's nice because or... then you don't have like the chafing. Didn't they all end up breaking? I think one broke. And they couldn't, you know, they weren't going to make everybody else still wear them. So it didn't last as long as it was supposed to. What kind of sex handcuffs are those if they're just breaking off? I don't need to know. Okay, so anyway, back to the game. Veronica gets her time with Hamza and she's like, you know what? I really helped you win this competition. Yeah. So I think I should get 50% say in who goes on the block this week. Well, she wants Olivia and Allie and pretty much 
everybody, including Olivia and Allie, think they're going on the block. <laughs> um, right? Well, yeah, I mean, everybody was saying Olivia and Allie, pretty much, but Hamza's like, Olivia I'm not going to do what everybody else wants to do. All right, so <laughs> it's time for the Wendy's meal. I think this is the coolest thing ever. I wish they would have veggie grill, though, because, come on, Wendy's? But maybe you could get a, a nice baked potato. That's about the only With thing. With no toppings. Yeah, that's about the only thing that you can get there that's, you know, not meat or dairy. So. Wendy's, fix it. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, they have their meal, mm -hmm. and originally Hamza was planning on possibly targeting the showmans, but now he's getting so close to Derek, they're talking about their love interests, you know, Hamza and his fiance, and Derek and his showmans, Kayla, so they're really bonding. I love how they have these meals, and uh, <laughs> they're like... Oh man, I've been a have-not for like two weeks. So you've been eating a meal all week, like as a reward. The have-nots get a lot of breaks on the Canadian uh, seasons. They should, they should have to do the American uh, slop and the cold showers. Uh, <laughs> they don't do that here, okay? I guess not. But basically, Derek is, you know, enforcing what everybody else is saying. Put up Ali and Olivia, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and... Hamza does not want to put up Derek and Kayla. He he likes them, actually. For now. Okay. Yeah. So then, it's time for some more strategy talks. So, we've got Will and Veronica hanging out, taking a bubble bath in the HOH bathroom. With their wet sex handcuffs. <laughs> and then Hamza's bringing people in, so he's like, Alright guys, shut up, because Olivia's coming in next, and you can listen in. How did she not know that somebody was in the freaking tub? I think she just forgot because I'm pretty sure it was like widely known that those two were in there. So I guess she was just like, <sighs> and then she gets in there and she forgets they're there and she's spilling I mean, her guts. You not really, really hear them. They were very quiet. All right. But anyway, he's like, okay, so who are you feeling threatened by? And she was like really vague. Yeah. She, she was like, showmance. Newbies. She like, probably wanted to say, um, probably me and Allie. <laughs> People who are good at comps. People who have a brain. Yeah. It was very, very vague. But they're just like, oh my god, I can't believe she said that. Well, she said that she wanted to get a newbie out. Right. So Veronica was like, oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Will was celebrating because he's not a newbie. Did somebody what do you mean tell celebrating? Him? When when she said that, he was all like. Oh, because, like, they're hearing this, you know? It's exciting to eavesdrop on somebody in a game like this. I guess. I guess anybody's name out there besides his made him happy. Yeah. So then Hamza has some time to talk to Paris and Jesse. This was and, really weird. Yeah, because Jesse was all ready to have his talk in front of Paris. Right, but she didn't want to have her talk she in front like, of him. She was like, why don't you go to the bathroom? Because they were still handcuffed together. And this is a little bit bogus because if this was BBUS, you would have to sit outside yeah. and wait for your partner. But here, they're allowed to freaking unhook, be like so far apart. Mm-hmm. What? I know, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not for that. Well, she had enough time to tell Hamza, um, everybody's saying Allie and Olivia, but if you want to make a move against the Red Room, freaking do it. Put I up Jesse. I don't <laughs> think she was, you know, saying Jesse. I think she meant more like Allie, Olivia, or Kayla and Derek. I think she, w she would have been okay if he had said, what about Jesse? I don't think so. No? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Judging by today's or yesterday's feeds. Okay. Nope. All right. So Hamza tells Allie, who's the next one to come talk to him, that he's going to put up somebody from the Red Room. Yeah. I mean, they didn't really show their full conversation on the show, but he was basically like, everybody wants you up, but I'm going to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going after somebody in the Red Room. So there you go. And she's like, Okay, I'm glad it's not me. And <laughs> uh, go for it because they're all throwing my name out there, so why not? All right, now it's time for the weird ass nomination chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> er, er, er. Yeah. All right, so. Shortlist Ryan, Olivia, Allie, and Jesse. Okay. We don't need to say anything more about that. No. Nominations he ends up putting up Olivia and Jesse. Olivia, because you're smart and strategic. 
Jesse, because you slammed the door on the way out of the That HOA didn't happen yet. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> because he is a physical and a social threat. Right. So Hams is trying and to play it up. He talks really loud too. Yeah, Hams is trying to play it up like he's got this whole other plan going and like trust the process. And he's implying that there's going to be a backdoor plan, mm -hmm. but nobody knows what the hell Hams is going to do this week. I don't think Hams knows what he he's doesn't. doing this week. He didn't at that point. I don't know if he knows now, but <laughs> probably not. Yeah, it seems like. He went in guns blazing straight to hell. I think he then... wants it to be a really chaotic week because he wants the house to divide. He doesn't want it to be a unanimous vote. Right. He's playing the chaos game right now. Chaos Cass? Mm -hmm. You know what happened to her. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comments. It's an interesting week. <laughs> Very. Not at all what I had expected. And until next time, much, much love. love.